so long to log in. I'm also excited to see cutscenes, man, that I haven't seen before. I'm actually really invested in the story. I assume you are invested in the story too, right? Because you played uh, fucking other Diablo games. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty interesting how the stories all kind of like come together now. Really? Well, you know, after I finish the story of this game, I will probably end up getting hooked on it and like playing Diablo 2 and 1. Maybe not 3. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch a story summary for 3. Um, okay, so I should go to Saragar. Okay, yeah. Finally found the fucking waypoint I'm supposed to go to. I forget to go to Skosklen. The land of the druids. The land of 17 damage. Did you see that that video that that meme is from, by the way? There's um, the guy that does max roll. The guy with the hood. Or Rex Antarax. Mm -hmm. He posted yeah. a video about druid back in the beta. And he was like, I remember I was so happy to get my whirlwind ability. I was, I was like, yeah, my ulti ultimate ability. And I uh, used it for the first time. I was so excited to see how good it was. And then I saw it, it did 17 damage. <laughs> and it's like an ultimate ability that did 17 damage. It, like it was ticking for 17, you know, because that's the aura. And that's when he realized like, wow, this is actually garbage. <laughs> and uh, Asmongold reacted to that video and now 17 damage is like an overused meme, straight up. Whenever people talk about Druid, they're always spamming something about 17 or 17 damage. <laughs> Me won't die. You know, it's really fucking bad because in the early mm. game, in the early game, you actually do 17 damage. Yeah, you actually. But that's the thing. It's an ultimate ability, and it actually did it was ticking for 17. <laughs> it's a good meme. It's just overused. I'm not ready yet. Oh my! My uh, minions are starting. I actually need to kind of focus on. Uh, I'm excited for that. Um. Okay, yeah, it's a word. I so. need more time. We'll find Conan Doyle. Or whatever that girl's name is, the one that was on American Idol. I need Something more Doyle. Time. Yeah. Chance to use my first skill off the grass. There you go. Mm -hmm. I need more time. Oh, we're gonna crush this instantly. And, okay, skeletons, please get in the circle. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> and he's dead. You know, when when people were saying like, oh, Necromancer's ruined, Necromancer's bad, they are so fucking stupid. Anybody that thought Necromancer was bad, I think it's smoking some opium. <laughs> smoking I'm something crazy. Yeah, they're smoking. Uh, they're smoking something, man. Because like, true, the the fucking minions die quicker. But if you actually manage to keep your minions alive, holy shit, they put in. There. So like I'm actually ready. incentivizing keeping them alive is a good thing. Not okay. The, the nerf, the first nerf, was too much. But I think uh, the idea of your skeletons not having to having to worry about them dying is a good idea. I think you shouldn't just like not have to worry about them at all. I cannot. Because then it would invalidate the existence of. Uh... Oh fuck! My inventory space now. It would invalidate the existence of every single defensive ability for them. So I'm glad it's not invalidated. I'm gonna drop two staffs. Oh, do you want um? I have some gems. If you, you have the inventory space, I forgot to sell while I was in the store. You want to pick up some gems? Come in. I need more time. Do I even can I can I equip some of the gems? No, I literally don't even have a single item that has a slot for gem. I'm not ready yet. Okay, pick this. Pick these up.
I need more time. I really gotta stay knocked it out of the park, dude, with the combat design in this game. Combat just feels so rewarding. Unless you're a druid. Yeah. Now that you have to say I wish I could just say combat feels amazing. Full stop. Except, except, the, except for the druid. Like, it's, it's sad. You're a I mean, because he has the like... he, he suffers from all the bad things in this game. He's like a melee. He doesn't do very much damage. And uh oh well he's at early levels. And like like he, he scales into the late game good, but is not good early game. Like those are all things that are bad in this game. He he the biggest issue with your is that you need Stellar. legendaries. We'll do, we'll do cellar. Yes. Yeah. Do you need you actually game. need your entire set of legendaries in order to feel useful. But once you do get your, your legendaries, it's like it's really good, right? Overpowered like PvP. But you need the legendaries. It really sucks. Especially because you don't even fucking get legendaries until God knows when. I don't think I've gotten a single legendary naturally, besides in the first beta, where the drop rates were the first. Um, is there an, I'm just checking to see if there's an event in the cellar. If there isn't, then no reason to even come down here. If there is an event, obols. Uh, oh, well, I don't know if there's an event, but I'm doing it. Oh, there is an event down here, if you want to come. The bulls. Wait, before I start it. Apparently there's a, um, a treasure goblin room. Actually, no, I think I have gotten the treasure goblin room once before. But, like, I, they all got away, remember? Because we, we teleported to me, and I didn't know that they teleported away. That was fun. Want to get a treasure goblin cellar again? I just have to survive. I can literally hit it. So roll tier one. This is not even hard for it. All my, all my skeletons are low health, and none of them have died yet. It's actually it's still so rewarding. Okay, one died. No, a single skeleton died. I'm out of essence. There's no way I can actually fucking die. At least uh, after the buff that they gave him. Or, yeah. In, uh... yeah, I need more points in the fucking thing that gives me corpses. So it's a huge flesh thing. Oh. oh, that was nice. Obolos. Is there a waypoint somewhere around here that I can go to? Because I, I want to get to the nearest waypoint and sell my inventory. Is there, like, is there a waypoint in Skosklen somewhere? Could be. But we, also, we went the wrong way, so we need to go here. I need more time. Please. No fucking clue. Don't have one. Good. I'm not it's ready a, yet. A altar thing here. The druid. I think that's as far forward as the whole druid, druid class. Sign. Yeah, druid sign. I'm 
mean, actually, it is a good idea for you to ride it. Fuck you yeah. and the horse you rode in off. And me being forced out of the game let you catch up in levels to me, huh? Which I guess is a good thing. But I was enjoying being like three levels higher. Uh, what we're gonna do was uh, like a dungeon for oh. nice. Oh, so you just did a single dungeon and you and you uh, caught up. Mm -hmm. I need more time. Oh yeah, there is a waypoint, but oh, cool. you have to get, you have to, no, no, no. If you, if you if you get it, can you get it now? Because if you can, I'll just teleport back. It's part of the campaign, though. You know what? I'll just teleport to where you are, actually. So you can't unlock it unless you do the campaign? Oh, no, but wait, that's what I'm doing. That's the thing. I think I'm doing the thing that unlocks that waypoint. So I'll teleport to you. We should have, we should have just had you ride on your horse from the beginning. If they give a movement speed, like pay to win movement speed for the horse thing, that would also be bullshit. If it wasn't pay to win, though, one hundred percent pay for it. Okay, they might be good. Okay, because like the 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 good thing to do is to give that kind of thing, but make it so everyone can get it. The evil thing to do is to uh, lock it behind a paywall. I need you know, they can time. they have the choice. It is Blizzard we're talking about, but they could choose to do the right thing. Guess we'll see. In any case, they definitely needs to be movement speed upgrades for them now. Even adding them pay to win would be better than not having them. I need more time. Opinion. Although uh, pay to win would definitely be the worst Rather. option. But yeah, there's the full last place here. Oh yeah, it's, it's totally gonna to unlock the waypoint. But I'm like walking straight towards where the waypoint would be, right? No. I'm no. looking for a Haradrim named Donan. I'm listening to the so feel free to at this hour, around. I'd wager he's in the Level up. Check with the guard at the door. This is my fucking drop, first drop of story in like months. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> my body is ready. I've been fucking cliffhangered by the Act One cutscene for so long. Cliffhanger, cliffhangered by the he's upstairs in the queue of times. That too. Keep it quick. But mostly by the fact that I four days early thing. And the fact that the game came out like two months later after <laughs> that's kind of Dad, it's kind of brutal I need to be out like, in the field being really invested in the story and then like oh that's it for now see you in two months yeah other side I'm there ready yet. i don't know what i want to happen but you want to see what happens um look oh. this discussion is not over is there something you need I have a message from Lorax. Message from the Lorax. Wow. Save the trees. There's a name from another life. <laughs> Has the old man finally come down from the mountain? With a warning. An ancient evil walks the land. The demon. My character's Lilith. voice is dope. And you know this. How? Did you and Laura seen her, bitch? discover something of interest? I literally saw her. Seen her. Perhaps this is all connected to what you saw, father. <clears throat> yes, I was. Why doesn't my character just, just say I saw? I, I saw Lilith. I know she's here. Uh, there was That's an all incident I have to say. at my estate. Uh, probably best if we discuss it there. Go and have a look around for yourself. I'll meet you shortly, and then we can talk more. Hmm. As for your request, <sighs> get to Braystag. And be Stay. careful. Stay close to the other knight's penitent. I will. Don't worry. Taking his son with me? The son's totally dead. That's the death flag if I've ever seen one. Um, boy, is that actually your son? We haven't spoken much in recent years, I'm but asking him about the two of us have history. Ask any of the other we questions. I just want to know the answer to this one. Dream. Oh, so I'm close probably friends. the closest thing Don't to a friend he has around. nowadays. Forging bonds is not exactly a strength of his. Yep. As I'm sure you've noticed. That's the only optional question I'm not, I'm not asking. Yeah. I usually never ask optional questions. That's how you can tell I actually care about the story. I usually just click the, this one will get me, will advance me. Which they conveniently label in this game. 
Okay, so now I need to go fucking... Oh, you're already there. It's actually, I actually have to walk a stupid amount, so I'm straight up teleporting to fucking kill the shot and then teleporting to you. Sarah. SSD, you don't feel me now. Fort Mad Road. Like I just gave up with the name. Yeah. Uh, Asmin does that too. Asmin Warrior. Asmin Sork. Stuff like that. Nice. This is. Now this is great. Abusing this multiplayer is, mechanics. This is Necromancer speed right here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just this like, is the only I don't even have to walk anywhere, I just fucking teleport to you. Mm. Vision. Mother. Oh yeah, I think I I saw Asmund Gold watch this cutscene, but I want to see it while I'm not playing a game of Overwatch. <laughs> well, like I, I think I was playing ranked when he saw this cutscene, and I couldn't help but uh, look over even though I was in a ranked game. <sighs> But this guy, like, how how does he dispel her at the end? You know what I'm talking about? Like, he, he like resists. Her. He like magically dispel her presence or some shit. I just have to watch, find out. Well, that, that's not explained by the cutscene. This is such a dope cutscene. Holy shit! No. It can't be. I know who you are. Probably all happening in and his I mind. I know you, Dunan. Old, tired. Each day a struggle to live up to your own legacy. What do you want with me? Astaroth. <laughs> She's dead. Astaroth cannot die. Not by your hand. Is Astaroth an angel? A demon? What have you done with him? Away, demon. I deny you. You have grown so frail. I would have lost like a minute ago, by the way. I can make you the hero you are. Return to the dark from man than whence I... you came. I said away! Missed legendary sex scene. So yeah, it was happening all in his mind then. Why it was like all ornate. It didn't really happen. I'm not ready A yet. Signal horn. Did we talk to him and now there's demons attacking the village? Yeah. Yeah. Happened in Morrowind. I don't know if you played Morrowind, but Morrowind is such. I've been attacking my owl in the past like five seconds. <laughs> like, why isn't this guy taking any damage? It's because I'm not an enemy. Yeah, I don't know if you played Morrowind, but it just reminds me of something that happens in Morrowind. I played Oblivion. Oblivion is my favorite too, but Morrowind is amazing. I think everybody that loves those games should play Morrowind. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's a. I only feel that way because I was streaming. And like the Morrowind community was so awesome. And like they told me all the secrets. There's this one guy that like every time I went live, he was always in my stream. He doesn't watch anymore now. But like he was he, he just watched every single time I went live for like all 12 hours. The Morrowind community is very like tight knit. And maybe that's one reason why I enjoy it a lot. A lot of that shit you wouldn't you have to find out for yourself, you know. You just wouldn't probably know. I'm not ready yet. Was that supposed to be a hard fight? <laughs> the attack on the manor. Mm. Here's a waypoint. Yeah, waypoint. I'm not ready yet. Speak with the poor man now. Oh, here's another uh, gem. Oh, here, there, there's a. If you want this gem? It's on the ground. Legion next event to you. going on. I can on do that. I need to. I need to sell my stuff. Maybe I can drop something. Okay. I need to sell my stuff. I have an empty inventory. 
completely. Um, wait, where's this event you're talking about, though? On the map, zoom all the way out. It's to the right of us. Okay, I'm, I don't know. You'd have to mark it, is what I mean, because I don't see, uh, I don't have it in the areas of mod. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna, you might actually just want to ride I'm there. I'm gonna try and sell all the stuff I have. I believe you have to complete the campaign to see it. Oh, the event. but you can't mark where it is. It's at the stronghold. Of I'm saying I, my, my fog of war is like so bad that I, I don't even know where. Oh, it's Korjagon. I think I, yeah, I think that's in Kyobishan. Yeah, my fog of war. I have the same fog of war as you, because I haven't. But you can see the event. I can see the event because I completed the campaign and. I see. It. But you don't have gone to like, unlock. Yeah, yeah. In sense. game. You can definitely do Korjagon, even though like we're kind of under leveled. Nah, dude. No, no, with not people is what I mean. Almost certain people always show up for Korjagon. But if there's like people there to carry us, you can totally do it. Yeah, it says this is a level 30 plus. Yeah, but I'm playing Necromancy. <laughs> and I'm not on Druid. <laughs> Again, yeah, you're not going tank road. Fucking shot. I'm not ready yet. Can't wait to make my tank rogue build. Thorns rogue is so good. Cause your 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 clear speed of like mobs insane. Thorns and like the AOE ability. There is a legendary aspect that uh Sometimes the best defense is a stronger Whenever you use an imbuement it will do that like it will do you like do that imbuement in an area around you. What's an imbuement again? This will uh, sh nicely. like shadow imbuement, making your skills oh, gotcha. do like that, for, for like, that damage right? type. So every time you imbue something, what happens? Every time you would use that imbuement, it would win. Oh, use it for your minions or something like that? Uh, like wait, every, oh. wait, I think I know what you're talking about. That's the imbuement. I, I did that all the time and I did it with the shadow one. You do you do shadow imbuement with um that one ability that like does a bunch of damage in a line. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like you hold it down and it like in front of you in a cone. It does damage repeatedly for as long as you have essence. You know that ability, right? Actually wait, I have a literally yeah. de I have literally a detailed guide. Let's build. YouTube channel. Search it. One after I thought of that tank road build. I was like, I need to document this. Here it is. When casting an imbuement skill, you trigger an imbued explosion around yourself, applying the imbuement yeah. effects and yes. dealing 84 damage. That's the one that so I that's the one that I used for sure. Here, the tank rogue is gonna be so I wrote like a Oh oh it's in my Google Drive. I remember now. I wrote literally a fucking Google Drive document on this build. Tank rogue. Here it is. So it's a, in my hot bar you have shadow step, shadow clone. Dark Shroud, Shadow Imbuement, Puncture, and Flurry. Flurry is the ability. Because Flurry, you can get an upgrade for Flurry where it applies around, all around you instead of just in a cone. And that's the one I have right now. So what I use the fundamental punctures to... to or sorry, I use the puncture to apply vulnerability. And then when you use Improved Flurry, it implies vulnerable in an AoE if you hit an enemy with it. So if you hit an enemy with it, it makes everybody around that enemy you know, vulnerable. And then you Shadow Imbue the Flurry. So you have like 25% extra crit chance versus imbued enemies and uh, like increases your shadow damage. It, it's like insane. And then like the rest of it's tank. So the dark shroud gives you damage reduction with the little balls and um, siphoning strikes and yeah. aspect of encircling blades. That's what it's called. It causes flurry to deal damage in a circle around you instead of just in front of you. I can't wait to play that build. I'll do. I'll level it up after druid. Okay, I'm done selling. Pre inventory. I'm just checking the store. I don't have enough to buy that. Should sure, I just yeah. save my money? Should I just it's not simple. ever buy like armor, buy armor and weapons? Live longer. Yeah. It's tempting not to. It's tempting, but I'll resist the urge. And spend it on better gear. I need more time. Unless there, unless there's ever, you should never spend money buying gear unless you later in the game. Extra. Oh, unless, unless you find an item that oh, gives that you, you need. like plus one, plus yeah, yeah. two. Yeah, If you want, you find a, like an item that's essential to your build, you buy it. The Otherwise, forest you... has gone mad. We're not going out there Ooh. again. 
Nice, it's another waypoint. <laughs> this is some overpowered shit, dude, playing in a group. <laughs> you just fucking ride to it. Nafane sees us as intruders stealing from his land. But how does I don't, he I don't need to pay to for the extra move speed on the mount. Who we needs a mount? Need timber to build or to who, who needs a mount when you got a Why second else that has a mount? <laughs> you have a friend, yeah. I think Imagine if you had like this is a four player party and everyone just went to the next stage of the quest. But they had they falling out. <laughs> you just tell them That's a video idea, honestly. Completing the main quest as fast as possible when you have party four that just sets up. Um, what happened to you? Yeah, that's the actually. But I met there was a, there, I don't every season for, for Diablo three there was a uh, like a a conquest type thing you can do called I think it was like boss mode or something. And you had to kill all these, like all the boss, all the big main bosses, fast as human. Like possible. a boss rush, right? For Diablo three. Yeah. I see. Okay. And like there were like actual builds, just specifically made for speed, to get this done. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, boss rushes are cool. I think Hollow Knight has like stuff like that. Like they should add a boss. There's a probably a, there is a boss rush mode for Elden Ring, but there should be like an official one. Instead of like oh, just having to be like, Ooh, true gameplay, let's go. <laughs> I need more time. Oh ball, call this. Team will never die. No class feels more like excited when they see a shrine. <laughs> like oh, I can play the fucking video game, let's go! <laughs> Oh my god, I can actually do something. Like, I get doing it for the challenge, but you, like, it's so fucking slow, dude. Holy shit. I gotta make it so slow. I think it took like, it takes like eight minutes to defeat like that one boss, where it takes like Necromancer like a minute and 30 seconds. Oh, that unbalanced. It takes the row like. Only five. What? Who? Oh. Sorcerer got nerfed Who I think a little you? too much, honestly. I probably still get it late game, but I feel like I didn't really enjoy playing Sorcerer. Yes. Maybe Sorcerer because, because, because it's probably because they nerfed Hydra. If I played it when Hydra was amazing, I would love Sorcerer. But Hydra's Coward. mega nerfed, right? I have no clue. I'm very, I, I have a sorcerer, but I have not really actually played. I think they mega nerfed the, um, the Hydra, and people are using firewalls instead. You just put down a bunch of firewalls. I know whenever they fixed the widescreen problem with the monitors, oh, yeah. they did not fix the meteor range. What's the what's wrong with the meteor? North. I thought that spell is kind of garbage because they have to not be moving. But what, what was wrong with it? Well, there was nothing wrong with it. It was actually like it didn't get affected by like the range of having a wide screen. So like you could oh you could you literally could use it from across the screen. It. I see. You oh, could cast it's probably it the same like with necromancer. You could probably summon use the necromancer summon from across the screen on with that as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, whenever I, whenever I seen it, I was like, wow, that's kind of ridiculous. Before I edit permissions on a Google document, I want to, want you to have access to my tank road thing. Um, share. Anyone with the link can share. The link. Yeah, I wrote up like a full ass, like somewhat pretty short, but like substantial build guide. Or at least first impressions build guide because you know I'm getting access to level 25 on the tank road. I think it's the class I'm like the most excited about seeing if it's good. I spent like a long time writing like 300 words. I don't know if you, uh, you feel this way, but I feel like it's harder to write a short amount of words that are like really good than it is to write a large amount of words that like are meh. I once, I think I spent like hours and hours on like a single paragraph. Where the fuck do I go? Cause, um, I want to write a book and I wrote like a prologue and the prologue is like not even a full page, but it took me like at least four hours to like think of what I wanted to say for it. 
had to like develop the world and like like the amount of words may have been low, but the amount of thinking in order to figure out what words I should say is really high. You know what's really what really shocked me? Uh, I'm not ready yet. Who was it? There was one it wasn't George R. R. Martin, but it was another author. I'm familiar with fantasy authors, so Brandon Sanderson, uh, you know, Robert Jordan, here's Anthony. Do okay. you know or what Arthur? Trying to, uh, he he okay. was an older guy, and he was apparently like really well known for his books. Like, I want to say Robert Jordan, book. but you, it's not, it's not J.R. or um. E.R. Martin, right? Because that's the first thing I think. No. Do you have like an example of what book he wrote? Oh, well, let's just look it up. Like I said, I'm very familiar with the uh, fantasy authors. I used to bring like thousand page novel fantasy novels to school and just read them instead of paying attention to the class. That was back before the internet though. Now I don't read. With the internet, my uh, desire to read books has just gone down. 200% is like the five. I have 5% chance to read a book now. Under old boughs hangs the heart fruit, swollen with hatred. Let it burst forth. And flood Stephen King. Stream. Stephen King. Oh, Stephen King. Oh, yeah. He's a he's like a mainly a fiction writer, but like he does like horror. He, he, Stephen King's like a very very prolific author. Author. He doesn't even stick they to were, a genre. They were talking about like how many pages they would write in between the certain times, and Stephen King said he writes. I think he said he writes six pages a day. That's so much though. Like, what I'm saying is like I would probably write like 600 words a day. That's like how much effort I put into like each each like thing, and like not because like I'm unable to write faster, but because like the stuff that I want to write, you would have to think about for that. In this now, I'm not disrespecting Steve Stephen King. I'm sure he's uh, oh, insane. He, he, like, he, he, he is better than me at that as well. But like, I believe what he the way he explained it. Yeah, how do you explain that, it? Like he does he does six pages a day. Of just like everything that he's thinking of. Oh, okay, that know? makes a lot more sense. And then, yeah, that, I can, and I can then do at that, that point, that. he starts to like kind of like pick them apart, and edit and them. I, that's a good idea. Not. I'm gonna. I should. I should actually do that. I, I've been kind of stuck in a rut for how to gain inspiration to actually write. But I think actually just spending maybe 30 minutes writing down everything you think. Yep. Everything. Like just do that. Like just do that. 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes a day. Write down everything you think for 30 minutes, and then maybe go to an hour. You know, it, it, like you do, like just practice doing that every day, and then. And at that point, you're just gonna be like, oh my god, like really I really got your so right ideas. Yeah, no, that's just genius. And I would have never thought thought that ADHD. <laughs> that's literally. I, I might actually. I might try and do that. I might start 15 minutes. Writing continuously for 30 minutes sounds like a long time. I can write continuously for 15 minutes. Just my thoughts. And then move up to 30. That's fucking genius, dude. Thanks for the thanks for the idea. Holy shit. That makes me really excited to fucking write. Thanks, Stephen King. I guess I should. Well, I mean, okay, the thing is, I would, but I've never really been like a huge fan of Stephen King, so I would never have known about that if you didn't tell me. So I'm thanking you instead. Oh, good one. He may have said it first, but he's not the one who introduced the idea to me. Oh my god, is this a boss? I lack the required essence. Well, to be fair, this boss started at like half HP. Ooh. I actually don't Come as much to damage me, as I thought. Hatred. We have tender meat to hunt. I haven't needed to like use any of my abilities. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, okay, so it's scripted. Wounded, but not scripted dead. bullshit. That, that's why I wasn't killing it instantly. <laughs> it's fucking scripted. It's the only thing I can stand against the might of the early game I'm necromancer. Boss that you're literally not supposed to kill. <laughs> Couldn't kill it because I literally wasn't allowed. Doing that fight as a druid, I was like, "Thank God, this is not. This is not a real fight. One part. Yeah, just, thank God it's scripted. 
Meanwhile, I actually wanted to fight it. <laughs> like, when it was scripted, I was disappointed. I'm like, man, I wish that wasn't a scripted fight. But, like, as Druid, you're like, oh, thank God it was scripted. That's the fucking major gap in how fun it is to play the classes. But it's literally just Druid. I even think Barbarian is fine. Even leveling Barbarian is not as bad as Druid. You just use Rend. As long as you use Rend, you can fucking level just fine. Do plenty of damage. Poor man must... I need more time. What am I going to? Next place is... Search for evidence. Ah, I see. You're gonna... Uh, you, uh... Want to take your horse there? Actually, no. I'll just start walking there. You're not anywhere near. <laughs> My potion ran out. Time to use it. Oh, I think I got cucked out of a potion. Because I got logged out. I got cucked out of an iron bar of elixir. I was, like, logged out for, like, more than 30 I minutes. I need more time. I really want to get my mount. That's my, my fucking priority right now. And then I can probably take a break of doing the campaign. Well, good luck with that, because that's that's not until Act 4. I'll get it back. I can't, I can't sleep until I get my fucking horse, because the game is going to be so much more fun with the horse. Especially as a necromancer, no movement abilities. It's like fucking... Oh my god. I cannot tell you how... I know how long I'm triggered I am by having the only one button to press while I'm walking. My ADHD oh my is... God, I'm fucking me. stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> You're already I'm past ready. where I was. I'm literally teleporting. Come here. Wait, come, are you actually stuck? Me. And I want you to fucking record yeah, this. And just... I do. I want to see it. Oh, never mind. It okay, works. Damn. Damn. You should have just stayed still. <laughs> I was okay, you can at least show me what happened. Like, oh, it was fuck. so bad. Why am I paused? Um, okay. Lag. I don't even see you. Oh, I, need I was lag. lag. I believe I was lagging because the area was trying to load. I, as soon as I entered the area as well. <laughs> and I was just like, huh? Alrighty. There. I was like walking for so much longer than you, but you just stride by on your horse and get there instantly. I swear, I, like, I swear to God, without the horse, it's horrible, but with the horse, like, it's going to be extremely fun. That's how much difference the horse makes. You have to fucking walk everywhere in this game. Yeah, I, I, tell me about it. I was running around as Druid for the whole fucking time. At least Druid, you have a movement speed ability to use, right? Hopefully. Nah, no. you, you have one as you have a one bear. bear. Okay, so you at least have, like, two buttons to press. I literally can only just do this. That's my only way to go faster. My family. All right, search for evidence, dude. Come on now. I oh, I didn't realize that this was the area I needed to go. Speak with Chieftain. Let's see. And your talismans and dirt scrolling will give the dead greater pause. Yes. Uh, now. You picked a fine time to visit Bristag. Bristag. What fucking accent is that? Oh, did I? Wait, what happened? Did you skip it? I cannot do that here. What are we doing? Find the entrance to the weeping cans. On ride. I need to remember what race tag. What's holding you back? So next time I do this quest. Let's skip it. Interested in the accent? It's like Scottish. Oh wait, Scotland, right? So yeah. So this is probably like Scotland. <laughs> Literally sounds like it. He had like a Scottish accent. So yeah, it's going to be So Kyobashad is like Russian or, or I guess Slavic. This place is very Hi. specifically Scottish. Or maybe Sc Scottish and Irish. You're already there. <laughs> oh, so I'm putting back to the city. There's actually a fucking cooldown. Like if you get if you get thrown off your mount, there's like a 20 second cooldown. Or you can summon it again. That's a good thing, I think. Isn't there also a special mount attack? Yeah. Depend it actually changes depending on what you, uh. Like, what kind of skills you have. Probably the skin as well. Like, mine yeah. right now is Sealed, volley. Leap upward from the ground. Writing. Unleash a volley of like arrows. Druid runes. I'm supposed to know Yorin? Or is this the new character that I'm meeting now? The howl of. Oh no, 
They're yeah, coming. Geez. Hurry. That's a nice All right. A A L E. Speaking to me. A L E. Hey, Drew. Do go. No, I need to lie. It's not a druid because he's not fat. That's all I know. It's a chant. <laughs> The chant will open the way. He just knows druidic. Light, protect us. Hold them off. And that's what fucking Blizzard thinks a druid is. They have to be big. Maybe they're in touch with Earth so much that they just consume so much of it. They consume so much bullshit that they just got big from it. Him so much blizzard bullshit. Have you have you been on uh Overwatch 2 lately? Yes. I, I just got back to gold three. I went down to gold four and then not back to gold three. Tank. Well have you seen uh have you seen Midtown update? Is that I think it's Midtown? Wait, what about Midtown? They uh did a thing where they changed Midtown's work to uh like ride month. Oh, I saw. It. I, 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 I didn't know they did that to Midtown, but I know they introduced a bunch of Pride Month like banners for all like the different, uh, all the like the 97 genders and whatnot. All those. Oh, I, saw, I heard about that. What's the map look like? Spirits from their rest. We should make haste with them. Never been on since that update. Interesting. Because Diablo 4. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, so, I, I, the only reason I have been is because I haven't been able to play Diablo 4. What I do know that is there's a bug with um on Paraiso. Do you know the Genji oh, pet yeah, dragon yeah, bug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah seen, you saw I the video that. then. Yeah, so it's Genji pet dragon but with mercy, and it reduces the fucking FPS of everybody and in the game. All she has to do is fucking crouch. That's all she has to do is just crouch. I actually in need spot. to figure out what to put on level one. Probably bone spear. I'm think and it gets the FPS gets so low that it gets like under ten FPS. Yeah, you keep if you keep dying, like the more you die, the worse the FPS gets. And it was possible to do with dumb. Genji, right? The, the Genji pet dragon. Yeah, Genji. They, they, uh, they changed Genji's it. Genji was able to do it. They patched that, though, for Genji. Mercy actually might get disabled for the rest of the season. Either that or Paraiso. Knowing how Blizzard is really bad at the map. fixing things. Get rid of the map. It's rather just I agree. get rid of the map. But knowing Blizzard, they might... <laughs> like, remember, they disabled like fucking Bastion. But maybe it's because you can do that on any map. Yeah, they, they should also, disable They map. also disabled uh, Sigma. I'm not ready yet. Wait, recently or... Oh no, you mean no, at the beginning. The in the past. The yes. Because yeah, he, uh, should be free to he could blow into the fucking air forever. Sigma... Lilith. Wait, they, they disabled Sigma, they disabled Strange. Bashan, and they disabled somebody else. Torbjorn. The door is locked with an earthen seal. They also disabled Torbjorn because of the bug for like an entire this. fucking season. Wardstones, that's it. If only they can just hotfix it, like, with Diablo. The cares, That's what's awesome about this game. They have I shown the ability to just, like, immediately hotfix something if they need to. Like, the, um... For when everybody was complaining about the Necronancer nerf. Every single one. Yeah. And so, they, like, literally I'm within a day, the guy, the one of the guys was like, Yeah, I played it, I, I'm killing you guys. And then they hotfixed it. <laughs> like, later that night. So it's like, the fact... I don't want them to do that if they don't have to. But the fact that they can... That's a hell yeah. Oh, the fucking... I love Diablo. <laughs> the they, I'm starting to love you know it, dude. They, did, they actually straight up... Uh, they challenged a like pretty popular content creator, Woody Joe, yeah. to do a Shava solo on Hardcore. To do what solo? To do, to do a Shava okay. solo. Cool. And he fucking did it. I don't want to be a downer, but like... Blizzard is known for, like, even, like, this team might not be around forever, you know? That's what happened with Overwatch. I really love the Overwatch team, Jeff Kaplan and all that. Now, like, they they replaced Jeff Kaplan with discount Jeff Kaplan. Made horrible decisions. Like, one after another after another. It's like, man, where's the Overwatch team that I fucking love? I'll be honest, Overwatch is, like, in contention for one of my favorite games ever. Like, one of my favorite multiplayer games ever. That's for sure. it might even, maybe even, like, favorite games ever. I, I love that game. And pre pre as soon as that came out in beta, I quit League of Legends, never went back, and just fucking played Overwatch, and was never happier. Back in my day, I was Diamond, and I only played Pharaoh. By the way, did you play that when they it. had number ranks instead of the tiers? Used to be ranked 1 to 100. Start, I started 
in season three. So no, then. Because, yeah, in season one, they didn't have a ranking system yet, so it was just one to a hundred. I'm not ready. And, um, apparently they, you can convert them. Like, I was ranked 60, which was equivalent of Diamond. And I think I only played like Farah. I just spammed only Farah. It's back then. Demonic just, markings. Back then it was no yeah, limits. And it was a no, no parole queue. Something's written on the altar. You could do like five Torbjorns if you wanted. Those were the days. I would, I would cry. By I'm glad that they got rid of no, they made no limits, but I'm really, pain, I think they made a mistake when it comes to, uh, remain. parole queue. Dead eyes stay. Well, Q, I think, really killed the game. It killed the fucking. Cursed are we who Q I, I, for sure. The Q timers I, went like uh, horrible. Gosh. Gosh. Ten minute cues. I would honestly say this, right now, I, I honestly say with the 66 roll Q was fighting good. Astaroth. I mean, I can understand why you think that, but I, I just disagree because I'm a flex player. I've always been a flex player. I'll play Mercy, I'll play Zenyatta, I'll play Widowmaker, I'll play a Tank. Whatever the team is missing, I will play. But I think you can't do that five, five. I would actually sit. I would actually rather play open queue than anything. And then they ruined open queue. Like, I wouldn't even be complaining right now, I'll be honest. I wouldn't even be complaining if I could play open queue right now. I haven't played open queue ever since they made the change with hit tanks that came to this out. What the fuck? I'm going to sit on my platinum rank in that mode forever if, it's, if, if uh, they never change it. It's funny that I'm still plat. I guess that it never decayed. So I can just get free. Uh, I just never play the mode, and then always have um, both the, the point, the rank points, from getting flat every season. I lack the required essence. If they ever fix that mode, I will play that overworld queue every single time. And I'll try and get that to diamond. To me, that's the true game. The true Overwatch is not no limits, but it's without world queue, so you can switch between whatever you want. So much. <laughs> On my screen, this wall is that it's still there, but I can just walk through it. Hey, you just yeah. <laughs> That happens a lot. You know, I, I I have actually gotten the diamond on support. Nice. After forever. I think um both times stuck. I was diamond was not during roll queue. Roll queue literally destroyed my, 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 my rating. I was diamond, and then with roll queue I was like plat gold gold, and the plat being high plat being the tank. Runes. So that's why I know tank is my the best roll. touch. It was always Ta this tank is, is a, a K roll. Why would you be alive? I was actually pro Demon. I was probably I'm probably I have seen others fall under Lilith's uh, In all honesty, I'm probably one of the worst like, DPS players at least. I really think you you uh, overestimate how bad. You're not that bad. Like the fact like when you play May, dude, you know what you're doing. So that's not, that's not that's not a that's not like a coincidence. I think you could play DPS if you just like committed to the role. Which by the way, I don't do because I don't want to commit to the role. I'm a flex player. I, I don't want to commit yet. to any any role. I want to fucking play all the roles equally. Here's how, the way I play DPS is because I'm not like a support player and I'm always I've always just played support. I immediately start thinking like, okay, what would be the most frustrating thing to deal with as a support on like as a support? Oh, for the enemy. And then you go. And that. so I'm just like, okay, let me just go play May and just fuck him up. <laughs> That's the thing, you can just play May. I need more time. <laughs> but I, th I think your strengths in DPS come to like positioning and like knowing where to be. That's why May is good. May catches people out of position really hard. May, like, all you have to do is left click, you don't even have to aim. And they just fucking die if they're out of position. You're good at recognizing when the enemy team is out of position and then punishing them. Which is a good nice return. And, maybe and Brig Symmetra. actually helps with that. Yeah, Brig, Symmetra. I think you you would make a good tracer if you played more tracer. Did you think we you don't play enough tracer? About that. I almost I almost thought about how learning how to play tracer. Tracer requires commitment. Through the cairns. I don't think like, you could tracer even, now, like, but you could. Be I straight up watched vi like many many videos. You play Genji? You should learn how to play tracer and Genji. Through with the horn summon. Not her. Normal you know, company, you know, my, sure. you know my like, friend. Learn how to like, annoy them, him, right? And Wrecking Ball. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. Look, All those characters, the goal is to annoy the fuck out of them. I know how to play. I can the play the pretty helm. damn, pretty the decent Wrecking Ball. So, so take your what you know as way. Wrecking Ball, and then just and say, then, hey, I'll have less health. This madness and then began. congratulations, now you can play Tracer, Genji, Sombra. Is there another backliner? Maybe even Echo. Although Echo's kind of seems to be drawn to the resin remains. You could play any backliner. You play as my friend Tom, right? Me and him. Yes. He is a like Genji like main like to the I'm not ready. He's my like, second or third most played hero, I think. 
Like, he's even gotten masters playing oh, Diddy. Oh, uh, he did. I think he said he was a masters roadhog, right? Yeah. But he's all. But he got masters Genji before roadhog. I need and more time. <laughs> I played so much like on a support watching him play as Genji, and I'm like, I never got past Diamond because I was in college at the time. Like I was, the best I was at at Overwatch is when I was in college. And like every after coming home from fucking like computer science class every day, I would just spam Overwatch. And like, That's uh, how I was. And, and like, but then I had to stop because there was one like quarter where I was gonna fail all my classes. I was taking four computer science classes that were project based, and yeah. I had to get I had to get permission from like the dean or whatever to take as many units as I did because they were like, this is too many units for someone to take. Unless you like, you know, get ready. special permission to do it, like 20, 21 or twenty-two units. But oh my god! It was yeah. Every class was like a five-unit class. They all had labs. Out of essence. So they were all classes that had projects me. and had labs. I should check on yours. Miraculously, I didn't fail a single one, but I did not play Overwatch at all. And, and you did ever all since that then, ever since ADHD? then, I've never been good at Overwatch, man. I hate it. Holy fuck! I did all that yeah. while playing. Oh, I did was not playing Overwatch. I think I couldn't play overwatch at a high level and do that and then like soon after roll key was implemented and yeah i was just never never the same there was a period in my life for like i think maybe even one or two years where i straight up did not play overwatch remember when they had no updates and no heroes i yeah. just did not play i i even there was a skin that i wanted that i didn't get it's a carbon fiber sigma i really wanted it all you had all i had to do was like play three games it was like the first reward for an event and i didn't get it Super mad. I'm, low on essence. I'm still salty. They might add it to the shop. They've, uh, they started doing that. Adding old exclusive skins that were only from events to the shop. Yeah. But if they put Carbon Fiber Sigma, you see that? I want it. Oh, I think that's mind. clean as fuck. You know, like Carbon Fiber Genji? It's like that. I like all the Carbon Fiber skins. Yeah, man. Like that, that entire period of my life. Zero Overwatch, because there was no updates. How the fuck do you play a game that has no updates? And then they cancel what they were fucking I'm supposedly working on? Fuck off. Yeah, you know, about that... What happened to I, those two years, dude? Where did they go? <laughs> I... I... Brace this is them. probably... You're probably gonna fucking hate me for saying this. But I think it was actually a pretty Please, good Arnold. idea. I think so, Just too. No, I agree with you. I think it was a good idea Maybe on paper if they that. released PvE. But the fact that PvE well, is cancelled means that, like, what welcome. the fuck were they doing for two years when Overwatch had no content and was dying? Uh, literally on life support. Safely to like, like, they... I, I will. They needed to do Thank what they're you. doing now for the game back then. And then Overwatch wouldn't have been... Cons like, like, I, still, I still don't think Overwatch is dead, but, like, it's so much less alive than it could be because they decided to just stop working on it for a product that they ended up never releasing. That's why I'm... I, whether I whether more time. keeping PVE or scrapping it was a good idea or not, I don't care. I'm mad that they lied. They know they've known for like at least a year that PVE wasn't going to be something they were doing. They just lied. That it said for eight months. Oh yeah, we'll release it. And honestly, dude, imagine like this, but Overwatch, like first-person shooter, but like with talent trees. Like story and shit. You're telling me that th that doesn't sound like an amazing idea? The only reason they canceled it is because they know they wouldn't be able to monetize it as heavily. My take. They knew it wouldn't In be as profitable. Honesty, I think it was a good idea that they didn't go through with it. And the reason I say that is because they mentioned that they wanted to focus more like is coming, on PvP. And my the thing is, I, I like originally, that. I think that's to, cool. Originally, Overwatch was yet. going to be a PvE game. Yes, like, Titan. It was supposed to be Titan. Titan mode. Yeah, and then it failed because it failed because like they couldn't figure out how to make it fun. Mm. And the reason why there was Come PvP forward. and the PvP was so bad is because an MMO team was actually developing a PvP game. I can't wait, this. I, I got cucked, dude. I actually can't go this way. I have to go the way you're going. Which means I'm teleporting. 
If you look on my screen, there's like fucking thorns blocking my path. I cannot go this you way. Can sh you can hit the thorns. They, they, I tried hitting them, they didn't take any damage. I tried that. They actually just said nope. <laughs> Not but even no, like yeah, that. Overwatch completely. literally like was supposed to be a fucking PvE game from the beginning. Yeah. And then they scrapped that idea and said, let's try PvP. That's the thing. I think scrapping that initial idea was good. But I think what they released, like when they announced Overwatch 2, the game that they proposed, was actually a good idea. It was essentially kind of like an MMO, but Overwatch. Yes, Overwatch. Like each, every single hero had a talent tree and like all these interesting abilities. Like I actually think they could have done that. It's not unfeasible for them to make that game. I legitimately think this time it wasn't because they couldn't. It's because they knew they wouldn't make as much money doing something else. Focusing on but PvP, because the the, PvP right now actually does make money because it is the skins crucial. and the battle pass. It devours the weak and makes. So they're like, let's just focus on this thing that makes us a shit ton of money instead of making something that we promise that will actually be super fun. They will save won't make this land from hell. But I agree that they should focus on PvP. I just wanted to say that. Like I want to finish with saying I agree with you. They should focus on PvP because this Overwatch is, is a great choice. PvP game. But it did not have to be at the expense of Overwatch 2. To do and they didn't, like, that done. also doesn't explain, like, why they and took two years to essentially do nothing. All things if must they were be working on Overwatch the for those two years, Even I wouldn't be mad about them canceling PvE. Prove yourself. I wouldn't be mad at all. I'd agree with you. you. I'd be like, yeah, I care answers. way more about the PvP. <laughs> the PvE was, like, a cool side thing. But the fact that, like, they completely abandoned the game for, like, two years is just unforgivable in my opinion. And it shows that, like, the people that, like, were there, that this person's gonna be correct. The people that were there, that cared about the game, are probably all, like, gone. They're probably left with Jim. Well, there's still no fucking corpses. Oh, there's one. Oh, my skeletons are dying. I'm not ready yet. I wonder what this fight is like. Is it true? <laughs> it's already over for us. Oh, okay. No, we have one more face. Great search. I'm taking a lot of time. I need more time. Banger, by the way. Oh, he killed all my fucking minions. Nice. <laughs> I'm low on essence. Yeah, but no, 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 no. There's Druid. There is <laughs> there's no Druid. There's no chance for <laughs> Druid. Druid, that fight takes like three times longer, and you're gonna die. Sometimes. It took me like a good, solid, long time. That done. Yeah, I'm what Druid. Did you give that me literally wasn't pathetic. even like that. Was barely a fight. We. We barely got to see that person's mechanics. The only thing I know about that fight is that you have to kill the ads. How to break them? Why? I will say, if you play Druid, you probably get really good at the game. Why, people? Because you have to. If you're not, you have to be a. You have to be really fucking. Yeah, you either have to have a lot of legendaries that have. Oh, that's it. Like, like defense that give you fucking like a immune bubble. Or how could they stand against the fucking know, dude. Fool. Either you have your full build or you have a fucking shrine activated. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Like I mean there's one build Or you're level like one hundred. I, I actually like, think at level one hundred, Druid might be one of the best classes. But nobody cares about max level when the fucking leveling like only the hardcore no. players care about max level. All the casual players are like, Oh cool, I get to max level and then I'm good, but then the entire time there, it's fucking garbage. Like why would I play the class? Uh, one of the builds is like a, you can play as like a storm druid, and you literally have two uh, skills that heal you because you just you're I'm not fucking ready dead. Yet. There's survivability at high levels, so is like the first damage pulverized build. Nah, like as like a storm druid, it was 
trying to be like a storm dude you have two abilities wait that... storm is ranged right my i, my, I have a yeah. chatter in my chat that um he, he bought the game but he he came out at 1 a.m and he has to do something at 7 so yeah he, he's not playing he's playing tomorrow because he lives in germany so it came out 1 a.m his time so I'm he's playing he's a yet. druid player and he plays ranged druid storm he was telling me that the reason why he's doing it is because he likes the challenge I'm like all right well if that's why you're doing it then yeah you're gonna have the challenge it's fucking bad, dude. It was, it's not. Like, I tried it for a little bit, and it was just not. It's just not fun at all. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up doing it because I really want to build out that fucking pet build. I'm a sucker for pet builds. You can Game do any minion build. You can do a. You're gonna have to help me with some like bosses, though, probably. Earth, <laughs> earth build. I'll be honest, if I had, like, you doing DPS for, like, some of the more annoying bosses, like, the first. First one in um like the one that you fight before Lilith Lament, the main boss, where like there's a bunch of fucking minions that Vaynard spawns, and they all run around, mm -hmm. and there's fucking beams you have to dodge. And <laughs> it's like that that fight is just hell as melee. I legitimately think I might die on Druid. I haven't died at all. I'm yet. not ready yet. Never answered. I died. Uh, I wanna say like at least like once or twice during the campaign and, and she then is peace now. I hope. right at the very end right. you have to, do I have to beat the campaign to get to world tier 3 this. yeah okay, so i probably won't die and sacrifice just because i'm on world tier 1 often maybe i'll die in the capstone the dungeon that's that's the only place that i think i might die my mother's words yeah i, 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 I must that's right i what has happened I, I would try to like I try to do the capstone dungeon really because else. yeah it, yeah it was fucking it was fucking stupid. Now they're gonna get geared up before trying it. I I during the closed beta I was able to do the capstone dungeon eight levels under. What changed? Wait, what class were you doing in the beta? <laughs> Necro. Oh. I was fucking playing Necro and like. There was like a whole big hype in the world chat about people doing it like five levels under as rogue, and I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking eight levels under, and I fucking did it. I wonder if neck if there are any like good necromancer yeah, players. Like, from I think if they could, how many levels they could do it under. I wonder if it's even good at that point. Oh, well, I could probably, I could probably do it on the rogue. I could probably do it under leveled. Because remember, like I said, uh, Malnok. I Level, uh, oh, level there's a treasure goblin. Oh my god, wait, sorry, I'm putting my weapon, two weapons and I'm teleporting to you. What the fuck are you? Uh, I'm gonna have to go back to kill the shot now. Better hurry. I need more time. Is this, this the main city? SD, don't fail me now. Can't wait for me because they will teleport away. Fucking stuck between the monsters, damn it. On SSD, solid state drive, faster load times. Get me. I need more time. Use a shield. Your your minions get your stats. The shields give you defensive stats. Well, I didn't think of this until now. that I have essence cost reduction no wait 80 percent shields shields actually give you thorns yeah the shield that I'm wearing now gives me 21 thorns so does the one I just picked up okay no, the one I have already is way better but the spandex 2 one is actually garbage actually basic skill damage no I want okay, yeah, I'd rather critical strike dexterity cooldown reduction I'm gonna use shield um Oh, maximum life? Sure. You know. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub, Archduke. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the sub. Not any Welcome damage over time. Welcome to yeah. the stream. The light is damage over time. Light, yeah, and I'm not doing light builds. So, I think I have a good gem yet to use. Maximum life, damage to slowed enemies. Oh, wait, that's great. 
probably better than this. I know this has a critical strike damage. I'd rather do damage to slowed enemies, uh, overpower, or I just the maximum life. The other things I need to equip are for my fucking salvage. Diablo 4 is great. Diablo 4 is amazing, dude. Oh, so ha have you played it at all, Archduke, yet? Have you played it yet? Um, what's it called? I'm friends with you on Battle.net, so you should totally join my clan. I need more time. He says he's getting his copy with his Yeah, he's getting his copy with his face Not at all? Go. Well, I can't wait, wait for you to start. What class are you going to do? Don't do Druid, please. Well, I mean, if you do do Druid, just don't only do it when you're playing in a group. Because <laughs> then you won't, you won't have a bad time. But don't do Druid solo if you don't have to. It will give you a bad impression of the game. Like, I literally think people will buy this game, play Druid for like 10 levels, and then quit because of it. Without I'm even experiencing ready. other characters. Which is sad. But I think this game has a lot to offer if you uh, don't play Druid first. You're gonna be Necromancer? Nice, I nice. Are you gonna be like a, a minion summoning build like me? Or are you gonna do like a, a different kind of build? Because you can do like, um, like a more critical strike build. You could do like a no minions build where you sacrifice everything. Right now I'm doing a minion build and I have a shield. Whenever I start in that grill, I'm going to do a blood build. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's good. Did they ever patch the infinite blood mist thing? The legendary? Yeah, they patched it in Fine. during the fucking beta. Too long. Like, yeah, we're not going to do that. That's what you're doing in Diablo 3? What is a uh, minion or I need you didn't specify? Time. Is Diablo 3, like, worth playing at this point? No. No, no, no. Really? Like, even if I There's if, if no. I played, like, 4, 1, and 2, in that situation, Death should I play 3? Taken a piece of you with if you... Eh, you can honestly beast. just play 4 oh, and 2, God. and then just, like, skip. What everything. classes are you, though? Like, there's no Demon Hunter in this game, right? So, like, if I wanted to play Demon Hunter, I'd have to play Diablo 3. There is, there is a... For Diablo 2, there's Rogue, Barb... Oh, I don't deal with two uh, Amazon. Sorceress. I want to be Amazon. Druid. And then Amazon. In return, but, like, I think Diablo 3 has some pretty cool classes too, right? Like Demon Hunter. I don't know if they have a Paladin, but I hope we get Paladin next in this game. Like, the only reason I would play D3 is one, for like the lore if I was that interested, and two, if they had classes that I couldn't experience in other games. I don't know if Demon Hunter is exclusive to Diablo 3, but. It is. Like, like, De uh, De Demon Hunter is basically just a rogue with a shitty, shitty version of rogue. Witch Doctor is cool? Oh, yeah, the Witch Doctor. Yeah, the Witch Doctor. That's you right. Uh, you know what? I might play Diablo 3 just to play Witch Doctor. Because that, you can't play that anywhere else. But I want to buy it for cheap. What the fuck there are, there are, which, there are, uh, set items, gear sets. Yeah, I like sense. I've been, I'm a fan of sense. That, that kind of like completely like attuned to one build or like one like specific sort of skill. And they like skill. do your, increase your damage by like 10,000%. Yeah, something ridiculous. You got it for 20 bucks with all DLC a couple weeks ago? Fuck, I might. Next time that goes on sale, I might buy it. But then again, I actually have more interest in playing Diablo 2. I like older styles of games like that. So I don't even mind Diablo any of the arcade features. Has... Diablo 2 has uh, rune words that can completely change how you fucking play. You're, are you using dagger? Like, what's your what's your melee weapon? Uh, a weapon. <laughs> Weapon or one of them. I have a I have a pretty good dagger that I'm 100% not gonna use. And I gave it to you. 168, uh, 277 item power, 168 damage per second. Oh my god, vulnerable damage. Vulnerable port. Yeah, you want this? <laughs> I'll give it to you. Yeah, because I, I know I'm already. Not I have a dagger that has little blood damage time. on it already. Two. My fog of war is so fucked up here. I literally don't even know where I am. Uh, where? What city did you go to? Fire break manor. Oh look, a druid. <laughs> oh look. Even the Fucking druid uh, NPC mobs are weak. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky. Ha. Yeah, I heard that they turned that game around. Like in a major way. Like people are saying that like it's like similar with um 
Fallout 76, but I disagree. I feel oh, like I Fallout 76 is still trash. No Man's Sky apparently is like. That's what I, I think I actually own that game, but I've never played it. No Man's Sky. Yeah. Wait, if you own it, you should definitely give it a shot. Cause I like they all of the updates, the major updates they did with that game just transformed the game from what it was, and they made it, made it into like a legitimately kind amazing of, game. Kind of game is it? It's like what? space or something. Okay, I don't know what it is now. But what they promised is like something where you can like travel different galaxies, and um, like yeah, you travel a bunch of galaxies, like the, you know, see all the different fauna and flora, and it's all like randomly generated, and like you know, you just you, you just do shit. That's the, what the game was when I had learned about it. But with all the updates, I'm sure there's like more stuff, like multiplayer features and like a bunch of stuff that I don't even know about. You tame animals. Let's see, Fallout 76 is ass. I agree, Dre. I think that game actually would have been better if they stuck to their idea of having no NPCs. Because that game makes way more sense if you, uh... If you don't... Or you're not talking to anyone. Because that, the entire point of that game is you're traveling around I need more time. and figuring out what happened. And so, like, that entire narrative makes no sense if there's people to talk to. It's like... You, you go and you, like... You get, you get to this one place, right? And there's, like, a fucking thing that's, like, an alarm that's been going off for, like, years. And you were the first one to pick it up, and that's ten years. This, uh, this fucking SOS signal. And, like, you're supposed to figure out what happened. And that's awesome. But, like, with the update, there's now an NPC in that area that you talk to him. And he's like, hey, that alarm's kind of annoying, huh? I haven't, I haven't touched it because I'm trying to preserve the, the memory of this place. So that's the, that's the reason why it's still going off, even though I'm clearly right here. <laughs> it's like they completely destroyed their own storytelling. <laughs> it just, like, because, they, because people complained about not having NPCs. But the game actually unironically would be better without NPCs. Or without, oh, or give, me your NPCs. give me that dagger. Oh, yeah, yeah. All of my minions do this. Here you go. One over here. Oh, you see yeah, anything well, that you can't use that I might be able to? Throw them my way. Did not. Did not. Work. I saw that dagger and I was like, man, that's really good, but I don't want to use it. Going to summon something instead of being so for fucking scraps. I need more yeah, time. I, I, that, there, there was no dagger, dagger that dropped for me, so I was like, okay. The whole Redfall was ass? Oh yeah, Redfall was ass. I, I, I actually am excited for Starfield. Though. Not our steel. If Starfield Not is like prayers. one third as good as Star Citizen currently Listen is now, then I must it will be a good game. Donan. And like Star Citizen right now is like an unfinished game. So Some, like, it's not like that good, but like the, the idea behind it dead, carries it. Like the rest, it's, it, for it, all it, I know. What I'm saying is, if Bethesda actually makes a functional place. game, <laughs> then Starfield will be amazing. But if the game is like completely uh, fucking ends up being like not finished and like garbage, then it'll be horrible. If the game is like literally even finished, I'll play it and it'll probably be good. Can't wait for uh, Starfield. So that's the main... I need more time. That's Bethesda's main studio. Fallout 76 was produced by the Austin the studio. Which, um, yeah, I don't think it's as good as the main studio, so I can't I wait for Starfield as well. Hopefully it's not another cyberpunk situation. That'd be very sad. Also, another game that could be amazing in like one or two years, Star Citizen. I lack the you can buy access to it now, but it really isn't like a finished game now. But like in two years, I feel like that game could be literally one of the best games ever. For like space exploration and stuff. Maryland has been working on Starfield. What's uh, what's Maryland? Is that a person or a studio? <laughs> Sounds like a studio name. I'm not ready yet. Me just picking up uh, loot from the enemies that you killed. Oh, so it's Bethesda, Maryland. Okay, gotcha. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, Bethesda, Maryland. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited, dude. If if Starfield fails, then like Bethesda and Microsoft's like only hope is fucking um, Elder Scrolls Five. I will be honest, I do not have 
uh, I have high hopes for it, but I do not. I'm not expecting Elder Scrolls V to be good, just given the trajectory. Like, because like Bethesda has been making their games more and more like excessive since the days of Norwin, and that like that worked for Oblivion. It made Skyrim extremely mediocre, and I feel like if they keep making it more accessible and don't focus on the deep systems, Skyrim uh, to, like it, the, the next game won't be good at all. So really, for me, Elder Scrolls V is Bethesda's last chance at being a good studio. You know, their last chance uh, about Skyrim is some guy made a co-op mod. Oh yeah, co-op Skyrim, cool. nice. And they Bethesda like put a cease and desist on oh, that mod. Oh no! And they didn't so cease and desist Morrowind. Oh, they like so they weren't able to make the mod using the Steam, uh, Steam, like, friends list or whatever to, as, like, the main ready. place where you would join up. So they had to completely, like, get some people to make it their own server and everything. Wait, so they did it? To be able to fucking do it. Yeah, they, oh, that's awesome. they did it. I can't believe they got past the cease and desist. Normally you just stop. We're just like, all right, we're done. After a cease and desist like that. Yeah, they were like, yeah, we put, they put like quite a few years into work to get it done. Awesome and that their work has they gone to with like a cease and desist. They're like, bro. And it's funny is that they're doing what Bethesda fucking is garbage at. Like, one of the reasons Fallout 76 is ass is because it uses the same fucking engine as Fallout 3. So it still has like the same bugs as Fallout fucking 3 and 4. And uh, it's a multiplayer engine, so it's not secure. Like, it's like Bethesda is known for. I, I like Bethesda well, games because of all the dumb w. bugs, right? But dumb bugs are only cool in single player games. Dumb bugs in multiplayer games mean you get fucked on by cheaters so, <laughs> and people that are abusing something. It's like they, they really shouldn't have tried to make a, a multiplayer game, honestly. Fallout 76, if it was a single player game that didn't have very many NPCs. Player game, I would have actually probably enjoyed yeah, it same. a tiny bit. Yeah. I, would have, I would have tried it out. Bring them peace. Indeed. Open Morrowind is safe because the multiplayer is a fork of the open source code. Wait, wait, what do you mean? O was is Morrowind open source? Is that what you're saying? That would. But, well, that would open Morrowind. Sense. Okay, Open Morrowind is actually awesome. These people essentially got together and made Bloody their America own like client for Morrowind. So like you don't even. We well, play Morrowind nowadays. You don't even play the original Morrowind right client. You essentially download Could somebody else's recreation of Morrowind. It's but like they remade the entire game in a different engine. She's toying it's like with amazing. me. Play you know, and everything. You're you're probably you're probably gonna like this, but there is a full on like mod studio. Oh, oh, by the way, so the answer is that Morrowind is not open source, but Open Morrowind is. There you go. Okay. Mod what? There there is a full studio of peep of like mod creators the way you can? that have that have no. been putting. It uh, oh, she hasn't won I yet. Think it, I think it was Morrowind in the Skyrim. Oh yeah, Skywind. No, I, well, I can't. I can't wait to the Skywind. The Sky Oblivion. Twenty twenty-five. Well, I can't do yeah. it alone. I, I've been following Skywind, and also Sky Oblivion. I will play the absolute fucking shit out of those. I will say the, the best you. thing about Microsoft and Bethesda is, is their willingness to support modders. Did you know Halo? No if you want to play a Halo mod we nowadays, you just go on the community page That's on Steam, click, click mod, and press subscribe. And then bang, you have the mod. It's that easy. Vanquish him like I've, yeah, I've been playing Chris Halo lately, because it's like the best mod ever made, in my opinion, at least that I've ever played. And it was literally one click. It was a last resort. I've seen the i seen a video on the guy who actually Chrono Plus. Made that mod. Yeah. Built but you should, if you have the Master Chief Collection, you should just download it, man. I'll actually, I can literally give you a link to it, because like, you literally just click the link and then click subscribe. It's that easy. Watching over it. Keeping it a secret. It's, it's the best so mod I think ever created. Not even just for Halo. I think it's the best not even my son knows okay, the cursed the, the dark sorry, souls but halo is also a, this from a contender have you seen when that video that he made a stranger finding out the truth no uh there's there's He's, a mod he added like weapons in. from halo into dark souls oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, and he, it's that, also he also that. kind of made the convergence mod of dark souls he like Follow added me. a bunch of cool spells <sighs> buffed things he made like the bows good he added all these custom like cool spells you could do and and on top of essentially making the convergence mod for dark souls on top of that, he added Halo weapons into it and made like the like Halo multiplayer maps into the game. And you know what? That that sounds insane, right? I think that's only the second best mod he's created. The first best mod is Cursed Halo, I think. Actually, you know what? I could be convinced either way. Cursed Halo is 
it's really good for a different reason. Dark Souls by Halo is good because, like, the amount of fucking Herculean work you put into it. But Cursed Halo is good because of the amount of content it has. He spent, like, way too many hours adding shit. There is a mod that's in development right now, still. And it's for Dark Souls 3. Um, and it was, it's been in development since, like, yeah, uh, a year before Elden Ring released. And it is called Dark Souls Arc Thrones. Oh, I think I've heard and of that. Isn't that like an entirely they, custom like campaign? Like it's a complete story? Completely custom. Yeah. Every single part of the game is completely custom. I'll, I'll have to play Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 before that comes It's not even Dark Souls 3 anymore. Like you started. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a game made in the same engine as Dark Souls 3. I need more it's literally not yep. Dark Souls 3. There's even there's custom cutscenes, there's custom armor, there's custom HUD, custom animations. Wait, custom cutscenes for Dark Souls? Maybe okay, maybe it's different for Dark Souls mm -hmm. 3. But adding custom it's, like cutscenes in the Dark Souls engine is one of like the main literally, like, setbacks of there's Inferno even Plus. A, like there's that's even the one main a, issues he had. What are you saying? There's even new starting. Like you like there's a, there's 15 minutes of yet. gameplay, like basically of him going through the very start, and you fight like some kind of you know fight a boss die scripted death and you, ba you see this custom cutscene of yourself waking up I have to use this like, emote that i added it's classic so good like smoking a cigar or a cigarette and being like eh, classic i need more time so wait you uh you're talking about the mod right you die like force death yeah. it's a completely custom cutscene that he's I didn't custom in. cutscenes in Dark Souls 3. I wonder how he did it. And he, he there's also like more time. custom like he's brought in Dark Souls 2 like elements like buildings and like power areas. Okay, no like I see what you mean. I mean it, I mean the amount of shit that he that like, I'm gonna he decline because I'm right next to you. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, dude. Wait, does he have does he have a team or is it just himself? Uh, he's been like uh, getting help from people, but like at the beginning, it was just himself. Yeah, dude, you should watch all of Inferno Plus's videos. Literally, all of his like modding videos. He made among an Among Us game mode in Dark Souls One. You know, like Trouble in Terrace Town and like uh, Mafia games like that, where you have to find like Mighty the imposter essentially. Like, this is before uh, uh, Among Us. I believe so. Yeah, it was called like Mafia. But like it was proto among us essentially. He made that kind of game mode in Dark Souls 1. So essentially you have a squad of four people. One of them is a traitor. And the goal of the, the, the non-sus people are to try to beat the boss of the area. While the traitor tries to get them all killed. He like added like a bunch of like he added like a bunch of items that like you can use. Like the traitor can summon bone wheels. I will give you freedom. The traitor can like summon a bunch of bone wheels. <laughs> And like a bunch of other things. Donald's progeny. <laughs> His progeny. Really in depth. And joy. You know what would be really fucking funny? Your Dude. retribution. Dark if Souls you give me what I Dark Souls got. what? Prop on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you said prop on it because it's like trouble in tourist town and so. stuff. Yeah, yeah, G on. I would What the fuck just happened? Who just talked? I wasn't paying attention. It was Lilith, Yorin, and then I, I just heard some guy. You. Uh, who the fuck was that? Was it another vision? Did you see Yorin? What's yes. Six. He. Lilith stabbed Rip him Yorin. with the soul stone. Is Yorin his son? I thought I said yeah. he was gonna die. Yep. Called it. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you said it, it was like, oh yeah, that's the most obvious I'm death, death right. flag. I was like, oh god, he already knows. I do already know, dude. Look, that is the most, literally, the obvious. Every single time, these people are like, I love over. you. Uh, we we we're going to have such good memories together. That character is no. dead. There's still time. They, people can't seem to not do that. It's so obvious. Me. No, no spoilerinos. In a great hall. It's not a spoiler. He's already those. dead. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I see. Is it in my chat? Because I'm not looking at it. Yeah, don't let a chat. Not yet. We're almost to the point where you find out. You type a bunch of messages in the chat, Arch dude. That way I don't accidentally look and see the spoiler. <laughs> we must find Yorin as quickly as possible. 
I realize how hopeless because I do trust mad scientist judgment. I spent half my life studying the soul stone. I know my ADHD nature. ass will definitely look back. It will take time like, for us to rock to overpower <laughs> my boy. That I spoiled so well. many things for me. Even just like, now, he, he's resisting because I couldn't help influence. but like look because I'm stupid. They'll be close by. You know, if, if you're ever like Can in the comment go, section perhaps. of a YouTube video. Yeah. That's like all those well, the story of this explains. And then you get spoiled and you're like, fuck, to, 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 why, why was I even talk. watching that video? I should have known. Has what like, literally my fault. From Astaroth. Why would she linger here? I still don't know what Astaroth is because I, I haven't been paying attention. I don't know. The character in Soul right. Calibur. Big uh, axe. That, you only see, you only see, hear about that Astaroth like twice in the entire campaign. The next pistol right here. But we're, we're we're getting to the point where he's like, you're gonna. I love being how you just at the next place thing. and I can just teleport to you. <laughs> I don't. I literally don't even need a mount. You need a mount when you have mad sight. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm glad you paid the twenty extra bucks to play this early. <laughs> there. Yeah. Me too. They're here. I got. You want, I oh, you got be you, orange dude? Thanks for stopping by, but yeah, you should He's definitely strong. not watch me if you don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> so I don't. I don't. Uh, that's a good a good idea for you to not watch. Thanks for stopping by, though. What were you saying, Mad Scientist? You'll join me on Thursday. Hell yeah. Let me spam the chat to get rid of the spoiler message. Yeah, we're already friends, so uh, yeah, on Thursday we'll play. Playing in this game multiplayer is awesome. Can't see it anymore. Yeah, I just I, I can see it on my screen. Well, I have like a full page open. Just did an entire page of it. <laughs> full page of chat. Jesus Christ. We're about we're at the point where you I believe it. You would see. I think the, it's a good idea for him to leave because this seems like it's major spoilers. You're in. Yeah. I'm trying to convince You're my dad in. to buy this game. It's a gamer. I don't think he's, he would buy this game. He has really been waiting him to. for you. Where? This is probably Where the most like, old school style <sighs> ARPG. Come that get. Well, that you can get nowadays, yeah. Like it's still like, it's still not the same as like Diablo 1 and 2, right? But like it's probably like the it's next, even. like, if you it's want to play close. something like that, play PoE, right? Like PoE already exists. So this game kind of carries on Blizzard's legacy of taking a game formula and like making it like more generalized. I actually think Blizzard is good at accessibility. Bethesda is bad at accessibility. One thing is I'm glad Diablo 4 is the way it is. If I wanted to play PoE, I'd play PoE. I have what I came for. We get the fight Astro? Oh yeah, do as you please. <laughs> the style of this game definitely is reminiscent of older Diablo games. I love that. Apparently they just like played the old games and like took scenes from it and like, copy pasted. <laughs> like with, with the butcher. It's about to be the easiest boss, huh? I don't have any. I should have switched spells. I still don't have any corpse generation. I need more time. Oh, I might actually die. If I die, I have to switch spells. I have no corpses. Good thing you're here. I would 100% die if I was doing this solo with this build. Corpses! Fuck it. Just a fucking ounce of corpses, please. Where the hell is he going? <laughs> I've never seen a boss fucking run this far away. What the hell? Now that I have my minions. Nice. It's a corpse. What the fucking needed. I'm not 
So those ads? Oh, no, those are my ads. I have all my bucks in this guy down. All, I have all my minions. Oh wait, there's wolves. Oh, the music, dude! The almighty necromancer with the rope to tank everything. Yep. Did you do this boss on Druid? Yeah. I think this might be the worst boss so far to do a Druid. It, by the time we finished the boss, I was getting halfway through the first phase. I got I got a time. I got I, I, I want to put a marker in my chat. I want to put on a time how fast that was and then compare it to like when I play Druid, it'll probably be something ridiculous. I was like, probably what, like three minutes, four minutes? Yeah, something like that. It was pretty quick. That's pretty damn quick. It was a good fight, though. I actually, <laughs> I actually enjoyed that fight. Like it's, it was not quick enough to where it was just invalidated, like the other fights we've done so far. More fun. Still easy though, because that hurts. And multiplayer. <laughs> Oh, so Astaroth is that guy? So, like, Astaroth, like, fucking inhabited his corpse? You're in. Fuck. Oh. Oh, I skipped past the cutscene where this guy was, like, in I'm introduced, sorry. so I don't care. <laughs> that was the cutscene we skipped. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, I would feel worse if the death flag wasn't so goddamn in your face. <laughs> Is Donan a character from previous oh. games? No. I will leave you. He is in the Diablo 4 character. Please, please, please. Damn it. I, I, gotta, okay, wait. I got a blo Oh, wait. I got the Blood Mist one. What the fuck? Wait, I actually got the broken Blood Mist one. Blood Mist triggers corpse explosion, and when it detonates the corpse, the cooldown is reduced. Oh, I'm switching builds. Holy shit. Now I need corpse gener better corpse generation. That's crazy. Wait, wait, so I'm, I'm going to switch to Reapers then. Am I really going to make my build around this? No, maybe I don't switch I got to Reapers. Lucky hit. Critical strikes with marksman skills have up to <laughs> have up to a 50% chance to grant free Dark Shroud. You got nothing. I got like probably one of the most broken aspects and you got nothing. Actually, my basic attack is an extra. I want an enhanced reap. And acolytes reap. Oh yeah, yeah. I want wait. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna use reap because reap also spawns corpses. I don't need decompose. Acolytes reap summons a corpse every five seconds. Reap. Bone spear. Um, I want vulnerable. Do I want vulnerable? I probably do want vulnerable. I want vulnerability and everything else. Supernatural Bone Spear. Um, to probably actually put a level Blood Mist. Blood Mist leaves on corpse. Casting skill that overpowers. Wait, what the fuck overpowers on? I didn't know Necro has over any overpowering abilities. Blood Nova. Well, that's Blood Lance. What the hell is Blood Nova? Should be right next to Blood Lance. Blood, blood Surge? Oh, Blood Surge, probably. Oh yeah, Blood Surge, that's what it is. Where does it say Overpower, though? Oh, here it is, the, the best one. And you have five stacks, your next Blood Surge overpowers. Well, I'm not gonna do that, because I definitely want fucking Bone Spear. So I'm, just, I'm definitely gonna have to get Blood Mist. Hopefully, maybe I get something else that overpowers. I do want leaving behind a corpse. You can... There is a uh, basic attack, blood rip or whatever it is. I can't remember. Um, wait, that can overpower. Oh, damage. 
There you go. That's what it is. Mm. I, I believe him at all. Do that. Maybe it's a. Uh, maybe it's actually been decomposed. Well, I don't think they over. I don't think there is any overpower on any, on any of the base skills. Maybe this one. Yeah, I don't think he has any overpower. Actually, keyword search. Um, how does the search work? Does it highlight? Oh, it highlights things that are word in it, right? What does keyword keyword search mean? Yeah, all those things that are highlighted have can will can do. Really? But there's no there's no oh maybe I'm just missing something. Hold on. Definitely do yeah. not see go power. go back in go back keyword search. It must contain all selected keywords, so just overpower. Oh, okay. Need the keywords. This tides of blood. My blood skills do more overpower damage. Um Rathmus Vigor. After being healthy for okay, so, so that could make my next overpower skill. Okay. I'll probably get that. That I have no idea. I, I'll actually that solves my build issue. Let's get one point of that. Getting the corpse explosion because we don't need to. Scrapify, I scrapify, and I need um this one that gives me more corpse generation. Anything here except for the crit strike ones. More important than the crit strike. No, oh, crit strike ones are. Bone skills. Um, do I use a lot of essence? Would reduce the cool. No, I don't have major cooldowns. Really. There's like this. My only like thing that has a cooldown is blood mist, so I don't really care about that too much. Or do I? You know what? No, I do care about it. Actually. Get one point in all of this. One more point in blood lance. And then our next skill will be Army of the Dead. So I might not get the golem. Since I have, since I got the legendary for uh, Blood Mist, I don't think I'm using Golem. I need more time. I'll try the Golem out some other time. I got, like, you realize how insanely lucky I am, right? Getting that legendary out of everything that I could have gotten. Yeah, you're crazy. Like I'm actually blown away. I have stick. Cancel it to teleport sometimes. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, a wired one. Holy oh, shit. What was the teleporter? Maybe there's definitely something. Let's try a teleport to my keyboard. I just can't teleport out of here. I think. I need more time. Where the f I don't think I can walk out of here either. Oh no! I'm just stupid. I'm so dumb. You didn't. You didn't see anything. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> My teleport is just doesn't doesn't work. So if it's stick drift, I don't know what it is. But I'm not, not teleport ready out of here. Yet. Well, probably that's because I have to speak to the guard at the gate. It doesn't let me teleport because of this. I must wait for my allies to arrive. What do you mean? You're right next to me. It said to me, I must gather my party. Our your party must be alive and present. You are alive and present. You're literally right next to me. Dead. Oh, action bar. I need my allies to do that. <laughs> what, like, to even come back, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, actually, teleport. Oh, you can't teleport out either. You have to, like, like actually leave my game. My allies must be here to do that. Now you should be able to teleport to me. Good luck. My allies must be here to do that.
Are you getting the, the prompts and what you get? My allies yeah. must be here. Yeah, you have to, to leave that. my game, I think. The video just doesn't let me do it. You can rejoin immediately. I need my allies to do that. No way. The entire of my party must be present in the mind. Still? It could be I have to fucking do too. You can you can teleport to Firebreak Manor. Must be here to do teleport that. to Firebreak Manor. Where? Uh, that's where that's where I teleported. Is that right there? Let's me teleport there. Please, can I go back? Don't join my game quite yet. So I'll probably go back and try it. I need more time. Oh, I don't think I. No, no, I do need to talk to the guy. We can travel, travel back to Saragar. But now my teleport's working. It was blocking my teleport to every waypoint except for, for uh, Blood Manor or whatever. Come on. Get level 25. Although it doesn't really matter because I'm not using Golem. I get 15% attack speed. Wait a second. I'm really excited for that. Sacrificing the Golem. It's actually nuts. Especially because attack speed is one of the most valuable stats on Necromancer. Or on Summoner. Summoner and Necromancer at least. I'm not ready yet. If this doesn't work, I'm definitely leaving the game and re-logging back in. I We'll take care of him. Lilith and Astaroth had made a deal. And we were the ones who would pay the cost. Again? <laughs> no Our presence was no coincidence. Really? I have to do all of Act 3? Everything okay. happened exactly as Lilith wanted. We'll get it right at the very beginning. I was planning on recording this all as a one YouTube video, but I guess I should segment it. So, up until here. Not her. Not answers. We'll one segment, and then here until I get No one knew what Lilith segment. was truly after. Definitely or exactly what map, Astaroth right? had Not promised sleeping. her. But we needed to recover quickly. Only 10.30. Atta boy. Time. And we needed to stop chasing her phantoms. You're two hours ahead, right? It is 1.27 a.m. Oh no, so you are East Coast. Not like, mid, not, uh, not middle. For me, it's only 10. So, um, how do I... Social... Yes, sir. Oh, hell yeah. Plus 11 dexterity, plus 5 all stats. Great blows. And instead of the shield for now, I'm going to use this folio. Also get some cooldown reduction. And critical stretch. 2.5, you yeah, have a lot of cooldown reduction. It's a weapon. No, I want the thorns. You want the thorns one. This also gives thorns. Pull that reduction. If I get a better shield, I'm definitely equipping it. This thorns. You to have thorns is actually awesome. That's all I need. Another point. Master, I don't think shit like that. Oh, minions gain 4% attack speed when I'm healthy. Oh, the prime army of the dead. That one leaves behind corpses. Okay, we will max out army of the dead and then go for inspiring leader. This build is gonna be nuts. There's no way this is bad. There's bone mages, but I do not want bone mages. Cold. Actually, I could go Bone Mage. It's... Actually, do I, I want to go Bone Mage because they also have better corpse generation. I can use that to Blood Mist. Holy shit. <laughs> this build is going to be crazy. Bone Mages time. do use their own for life force. But I got the attack. one that when they kill themselves, they leave behind a corpse. Which makes me do more damage with the corpse explosion from the legendary. So that was Act 3? Or sorry, so that was Act 2, right? No, that was Act 
That was Act 2. I want to get one level. And I want to do the fucking, um... Quest for, uh, to get my fucking gold one. Stop.